So welcome back everyone to part 7. Time to continue on our ongoing mission to go and get the grapple beam. So if you jump down here, you'll notice all these things. If you scan them, there you go, you can grapple them now. Which is pretty easy, because now they all have a grapple beam symbol on them. Grapple this panel. Okay. Yes, it takes forever to do this, and I kind of wish there was, like, with the secret missile, there was a secret grapple, where you could grapple a bunch of things at the same time. But I don't really care, because, you know, this is the Wii, and this is the console I grew up with, so... Grappling, stuff like that, not really a problem. Anyway, be careful when you jump down here, though. Because be prepared for this. Now the music turns awesome. Generally, the Metroid soundtrack is awesome. Anyway, these guys can teleport if you read their information, which I'm not really going to. But here's what you need to know. Go into hyper mode. It's about all you need to know. Because you cannot actually be damaged in hyper mode. Come on. Low on phase on. There you go. I drained an entire tank, which I didn't exactly need to do, but it doesn't really matter because we can easily get that energy back. So, that yeah, that was pretty easy. Just shoot, shoot them like that. You can easily beat them, and the uh, Reptilicus Hunters are gone. They're kind of like Chozo Ghosts in a way, because they um, take in areas and they're corrupted beings that now We'll try to chase you around, except uh, unlike Jozo Ghost, they're not extremely annoying. So another lore entry, which I will actually still read again. Age of Science. The ships of Brio sped to the stars in all directions, bearing the banner of peace. Soon found stellar brethren in the Chozo. <laughs> See, the Luminoth, Metroid Prime 2, and the, the Yellow which we have no clue about or know anything about. Starborn knowledge came to Brio, and we gladly sent our wisdom to our new friends in return. The heart of Brio, uh, the, let's see, the hearts of Brio were filled with pride, and they honored the Lord, let's see, the Lords of Science for all the wonders we provided. As the time of new Brio came to be, the old ways faded. The cries of joy from those who um, who honored science covered with anger shout angry shouts of those who uh, let's see, mourned the old ways the primal traditions and they end up having a war because of that so yeah I anyway, go over here and if you want to use that hint button that you have no clue about yet it's right there number two which is new to this game but you know it's kind of cool if you're a newbie, which I'm not though, I just wanted to show it off. So, I will actually scan these guys in a minute, but um, I forgot to do that, so. So anyway, you don't actually have to use these guys yet, but you can. If you want to go up here and get your missile expansion, missile expansion number three or something. Anyway, let's just wait till you're up here and bomb. There you go. Missile expansion. I really love that pickup sound though, like the missile expansion pickup. Just because it's kind of cool. Anyway, also the bomb jump is really useful in this game, just because. I don't know, it just is. Just because you don't have to. So if you're gonna double bomb jump, you just have to do this. Which makes the game a lot easier. So, here you go, grapple me. Again. Which gives you the ability to do the stuff you should have been able to do the first time. So I don't really get that. The swing grab, great. But what makes it me unable to lock on? Is it like computer data that I should have gotten that allows me to lock on to stuff I didn't know about? Is it like computer lock on data, or is this like you know, because I can already lock on to enemies and everything? Or is this like some other type of thing? Like it's the actual stronger ability to lift myself. Also, I wanted to mention the fact that um, nobody is really sure about Samus' exact um, being of like her height and everything. 
Because according to Nintendo, um, when they originally released it with Super Metroid and stuff, they said she was six foot three. And then another M, they messed it up by making her five foot something. Anyway, oops, don't want to do that. It's really annoying though because I don't really want to grapple. So luckily we have the Wii Remote, and so we can shoot these gel puff things from afar. Anyway, so now grapple, pretty easy. And oh, I'm gonna make it up. up. Uh, that ha that will happen to you every time. So luckily we already grappled this stuff out of the way. Grapple again, again, again. Anyway, so get out of here. And now we get to backtrack, which is what Metroid's famous for. And sadly, in this game, there is no super missile or such, which would be very useful upgrades, in my opinion. So here's another one of those Reptilicus Hunters, take them down easy. Which, it's a lot easier, though, to take them down, you know, with hyper mode. But we don't want to waste our energy, or not yet, at least. Anyway. So, let's just go back this way. Okay. So, now we get to go to that Crash GF ship. There you go. The other one should be up here. It's a little bit wasteful, but I don't really care. Because it's hyper mode, and this game is pretty easy. So, playing in veteran isn't really that hard, and... I can recommend it for any of the people who play games like Bioshock or any of those, like... Ugh, I can never scan these guys. I keep telling you that. Anyway, we'll scan them later. But the only way past here right now is to go through this bomb slot. So, also if you notice there's a missile expansion on the roof, which we will get in a moment. But first we have to go through here to get to this guy. You won't have a chance to scan for a while if you don't scan him now, so scan him now. You'll be able to find him on the Valhalla later when you investigate that. But don't let him hit you because he will take a lot of energy. But he's pretty easy. So anyway, now this is a pretty easy puzzle. you got to just scrapple that. And here's something that confused me the first time I played the game. You have to get them both directly across from each other before you can grapple another one. So if you, like, grapple one from up here and then one from down here, it, they'll go back in place because you have to grapple them in a certain order just so that they both link up. It's not really that hard and you probably will get it on your first try, but I just want to warn you because I wasted like, you know, 20 minutes trying to figure that out. How dumb I am on my first playthroughs. Anyway, so there you go. Now we have access to the map. Kind of. So, now the now that we have a map, our ship um, now knows where we're supposed to go. Well, rather, we know where we're supposed to go. Whereas, whereas our ship should have already known because, you know, it could scan the planet. We don't want to go that way. We want to go this way. Hey, look, it's Rundus, see? We are uploading the location of See Rundus. Yeah, that's a little thing I found on my one of my playthroughs. Anyway, Rundus is over there. So that's where they're telling you to go. Fly away, Rundus. Anyway, just a friendly bounty hunter type greeting, obviously, because we all love Rundus, obviously. But how come he didn't like come speak to us? I thought we were friends. But I guess I thought incorrectly. Anyway, here's the double bomb jump part. Ugh, I always mess this part up though. So I shouldn't be surprised. So you gotta wait for this thing to come along. Oh. And hopefully that's what you will get as a result. And now you can leap over here, go through there, and there you are. A new type of enemy as well, besides getting our missile expansion here in a sec. So if you scan the enemy, now you know how to grapple it. Take you that. And that! There. Anyway. Pretty easy. Missile expansion. Is this like our fourth? Anyway. 
as I said, I don't really value missiles that much, but, you know, I'm willing to take them because it's part of the 100% and, you know, they'll, they'll come in handy sometimes. As I said, hyper mode. Now let's just try to get out of here. We don't need to fight the next one. Unless he picks the fight himself, which he will if you don't get out of here on time. But luckily my loading times are working out on this Wii U, so pretty easy. And there you just grapple this thing. And here we are. Another enemy. An enemy will meet only once, so scan it while you can. I don't really know what to call these things, but it has a name for them. Alpha Hopper. Anyway, these things don't matter because we have Hyper Mode. We're vulnerable during Hyper Mode, and Hyper Mode is just plain awesome. Let's just go back and do our another Hyper Mode session. Anyway, but you can't pick up energy while you're in hyper mode for some reason. Anyway, but these are 100% energy things. And as I said, those previous energy things we used to see are now gone. Because we are now phazon based. And the society is phazon based, so it's pretty easy to get stuff. They have phazon in it or something like that. So now... Time to go back to our ship. And I think before we end this uh, part, I wanted to uh, quick grab something from the thorny jungle. Uh, energy tank to be exact. This may make this part a little longer, but who cares. And why would I want to grab an energy tank from the thorny jungle? It's just for, um, for Rundus, if for newbies. Now, I don't personally have a problem with Rundus fighting him. Okay, that's just a hint. We have to fight Rundus. Sorry, I gave that away, but um, that will happen soon enough. And so, what's going to end up happening is you um, will naturally have three energy tanks at this point if you got all the ones I pointed out. So, um, go to the thorny jungle because there you can get an extra energy tank pretty early in the area. And then you're not allowed to proceed any farther, so you'd have to backtrack. But I already know this, so it'll be pretty easy. So, just fly over here. And we'll be at the thorny jungle. But it's kind of interesting how this game uses its loading times and everything. Just because, you know, they, they go by in little cutscenes. And this is the thorny jungle. Yep. It's going to be kind of interesting. Just going in here first so we can grab that uh, energy tank. See, most people don't do this, and I really don't blame them, but if you're playing in veteran, not really, that's not really my explanation. It's more so that if you are for doing this on your first playthrough, then you probably will want that extra attack. So, scanning the space fire does nothing for you, and since he's in hyper mode, he does a bunch of extra damage. The hyper mode is basically easy mode. At least that's another word for it. So, some felt some fuel gel crystal stuff. Just go over here. Missile. There is no lore in here and just grab the energy tank. Okay. There we go. And so now it's time just to go back and go up. Because up here is a little secret passage to get to to disable that shielding. You can do it when you come back here the second time. Or if this is your first time coming through here, after you defeat Rundus and all. You can scan this stuff through the door, it's not really necessary. But if you, you know, want to like, get your eye on this research thing, slow just the crate, it won't move. No, the crate's going to run away from me. So anyway, you just pull this thing, and then, come on, there. Okay, so it disables the power, and now we'll be able to go through there. If you want to, you can go through and battle the space pirates, but since you don't have a ship upgrade that I won't spoil what it is, then you can't blow up that area and get through. Yes, ship missiles. See, ship could have helped us with Berserker Lord if he had missiles, 
But it looks like he has weapons, and if you check out a certain system inside the ship, it'll tell you that it has weapons. So why didn't it help us fight the Berserker Lord? Anyway, it'll make up for it next time. But uh, I'm just going to fly to the fire air dock, and we'll check it out next time, okay? So that's where I'm going to wrap this part up, I think. But it's not quite time for that. Anyway, though, um, I'd like to hear any uh, comments, anything you want to say about um, the walkthrough. Is it good? Does it need some better commentary? Do I need to do something differently? Do you like my telling you about the plot? Do you not want to hear about the plot? That kind of stuff. I appreciate any you know comments or anything, and I like all the support I can get because you know I'm just like surprised that I'm I'm getting so much support, getting views and stuff already with this being my first walkthrough on the channel and everything, along with Resident Evil 4, which I've only gotten through a few parts in so far. But yeah, I don't know, because I just I'm just having a lot of fun with this, and you know, hope you guys are enjoying this too. And as I said, any comments and any support whatsoever very useful so uh that's where we're going to be next time i'm gonna quickly save though because you know just i don't know anyway just quickly save here and that's gonna be it as i've said way too many times already but yeah um there we are and next time we're going to proceed through the fiery um, air dock, go to farther forward and uh, through the harsh fuel gel, eventually get farther and in the next part probably battle rundus. So uh, thanks for watching guys and see you next time. Bye.